About 90% of small business owners are stuck. They are working crazy hours, they are absolutely exhausted, and they simply cannot put in any more hours to cover off any more sales. But they're really stuck because they're not making enough profit either to be able to expand their team and employ people to grow and help them out. And so they're stuck in this catch-22 situation. But the answer always, always lies in gross margin. And as a chartered accountant, it's something I see time and time again. Now, gross margin is probably one of the unsexiest terms there is in business. So let me explain exactly what I mean. So what is gross margin? Well, gross margin is the money that you make from every sale once you have paid for your direct costs. So direct costs are anything that are directly attributable to making that sale. So the easiest way for you to understand what your direct costs are is to imagine that you have zero sales and imagine what costs would disappear. So if you're a product business, then your direct costs are going to be the product itself, the packaging, the delivery of that product. If you're a manufacturing business, then you're going to be making goods. So you're gonna have your consumables, your parts, your materials, as well as your labor costs going into that as well. So your gross profit can be calculated by taking the sales less your direct costs. But I think it's more insightful to look at this as a percentage. So take your gross profit and divide it by your sales and that gives you the gross margin. Now, once you have made gross margin or gross profit in your business, those terms can be used interchangeably. So once you have made gross profit in your business, there is only two things that can happen with this money. You can either spend it on your overheads or your operating costs. So things such as salaries and rent and rates and utilities, uh, marketing, insurance, everything like that or this money falls right down to your bottom line and becomes your profit. So I've worked in finance for nearly 20 years now and in my experience, when I come across businesses that are not making enough profit, then the issue is very rarely their overheads. You can see how in corporate businesses, their overhead costs can quickly get out of control, but this is actually quite unusual in small businesses. And so therefore it's quite rare that small businesses tend to have out of control overheads that are wildly out of kilter with their sales number. Therefore, if the problem with their profitability is not being caused by their overheads, the issue can only be caused by the fact that they are not making enough gross margin for every sale that they make in their business. Now, the difficulty with the gross margin is that there is no one size that fits all and there is no magic number that I can give to you to say this is the gross margin that your business should be making. And the gross margin percentage can vary quite a lot between different industries. So, for example, if you're in a service based industry like consultancy, accountancy, something like that, then it's quite typical that you have very high gross margin, normally around 90 to 100 percent. If you're in a restaurant industry, food and drink industry, then typically you'll be at around 70% margin. Manufacturing tends to be around 40 to 50%, whereas wholesale businesses tend to have much lower margin and could be on around 20%. So you can see we've got a massive scale there of 90% down to 20%. So it really does depend on the industry that you're in. And you will also find some unicorns even within these industries that make wildly different margins because of the fact that normally they're very niche and specialist. So how is it that business owners get themselves into this gross margin trap? Well, I usually find this is because owners have underestimated their overhead costs and this tends to be the basis for pricing decisions. So if a business owner, for example, has a product that costs them 50 pounds, that's their direct costs, and they have overheads that they estimate are gonna be 25 pounds, then they decide to sell the product for £100 thinking that they're going to make £25 profit. But actually, what I tend to find is that the overheads are quite dramatically underestimated, particularly when we think about scaling a business and actually your time is no longer free and you need to be employing people. And what we'll actually find is that those estimated overhead costs of about £25 will be more like £40 to £45 instead, which therefore means that the net profit of the business is much, much lower all because the starting point of the gross margin was wrong. How do you increase your gross margin? Well, the answer to this is super simple because there is only two ways that you can increase your gross margin. The first way is to decrease your direct costs. So this means that you need to renegotiate with your suppliers, you need to source cheaper products, cheaper materials, or even cheaper labor. Or you need to become more efficient if you are making something. So you need to reduce the time and the labor cost that goes into the production of each product that you are making. But the quickest and most effective way that you can improve your gross margin is to simply increase your prices. 
Therefore, every extra pound that you earn by increasing your pricing drops straight through and becomes pure profit in your business. Now, I hear time and time again, business owners say, my God, I couldn't possibly increase my prices. I would lose all of my customer base. But the reality is, if you simply do not have a profitable business and you cannot increase your prices, then you do not have a viable business and you may as well shut up shop now and give up. Because chances are you would be able to go and get a job earning far more money than you are earning right now in your business if you cannot pay to recruit anybody else. So the answer to a profitable business almost always lies in increasing the gross margin and this means that you have to reduce your direct costs or increase your pricing. If you found this video helpful then make sure you subscribe to my channel when there are lots more similar videos about how you can manage the finances and grow your business as well as joining me in my Facebook group where I give lots of hints and tips, free advice, webinars and workshops on how to run, grow and scale a successful business.